here with University of Virginia's Paige Madden, NCAA champion in the 200 free, 500 free, 1650 free, and 800 free relay. Um, Paige, can you just give me your perspective on how the weekend went for you? Yeah, um, thanks for having me. Um, it was really fun. Um, I just, you know, wanted to do everything that I could for UVA and um, just wanted to enjoy my last um, college for me. And I think, you know, that it's something that I'll cherish forever. So, yeah, um, the weekend went really well um and we had a lot of fun so um I'm really happy with that I I talked to you after the 800 free relay but could you take me through your individuals and um you know obviously you you swept all three um but what did you think about your your performances in each event going event by event I think the 500 I was probably um a little disappointed with my time just because um it, it wasn't a best and I've, I've been training to go under 430 all year um, really for the past two years and my training has been really elevated but I think just the nerves hit me and um, I was just um, a little bit scared of getting caught at the end of my race um, because that's what happened in 2019 um, and I talked to my coach about that and she told me like you know she could tell I was really nervous and I think that's um, what got the best of me um that being said at the end of the day I got my hand on the wall first and um I was really happy about that to do that for UVA and just get the points um and then my two free I was also I was happy with that because that was the best time and um I went out like I like I wanted to I think I died a little bit on the last 50 um at least dying for me <laughs> um but you know that's a good that's a good thing because then I I felt confident that I'd given all my effort. And then um, as far as the 1650 went, um, I knew I knew I could um, kind of finesse my way through that race um, just because um, I, I don't really consider myself a, a true distance swimmer. I definitely think I'm more of a middle distance swimmer, but I knew that um, if I stayed calm and was um, efficient with my strokes, um, I could win it. And that one was probably the most fun just because um, in the ready room, it was really special being with um, some of the other seniors like Evie Pfeiffer and Sierra Schmidt. Um, and it was Sierra and I's last mile together um, in the NCAA format. Um, my last mile ever personally. Um, I think Evie has another year, but that was just really fun just to be in the ready room with all of them and just to have that camaraderie um, together. And, I, I don't know. I, I, it was really, it was really wholesome um, for lack of a better word, just because um, it was fun to share that moment together and then, you know, go and swim for 16 minutes straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, um, you know, obviously you, you used to swim the 200 back on day four of, you know, the last day of, of, of a meet like this or of a conference championship format meet um is is managing just one swim and that swim being the 1650 is that does that change how you go about the day any differently aside obviously aside from just not swimming prelims yeah i mean definitely it it definitely um i i think i felt a little bit of relief after the two free just because i knew that i had a morning off and um i love to sleep in <laughs> I can sleep in like a champ and um I got to sleep in the next day and we actually couldn't even um warm warm up at the pool in the morning so I had to um warm up in the hotel pool with um Maddie Donahoe which was pretty fun um and yeah that day was definitely a lot more relaxed and then I think going into the final session knowing that we were going to win that took a lot of pressure off and um just made it more Fun. You know, I wish I wish that I could have gone to the prelim session just because um, it was one of my good friends, Kyla Val's her last race in the prelims. I wish I could have saw that in person. But, um, you know, I can't change the circumstances. But yeah, for sure. It changes things a bit. Yeah. And then, as you mentioned, your last race in the NCAA, um, even though for some seniors, it may not be um, with with the option of that extra year of eligibility did you, was this a consideration for you at all of taking that extra year or, you know, what, what went into that decision for you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I knew that if, 
the meet didn't happen that I would be really disappointed about that just because having it being taken away last year um, was out of our control. And then, um, I, you know, everyone was really disappointed about that. Um, like I wanted to win a, nas like a, a national title for UVA um, as a team title so badly. <laughs> and um, I think at the beginning of the year, um, we kind of talked about, you know, what would happen if NCAAs weren't going to happen. And back in August, Todd kind of pulled us aside and was like, I think you should prep for that. Um, so I definitely, I definitely considered it a lot. I actually um, ended up applying to um, a grad program here at UVA um, just as a safety net. But um, yeah, I mean, um, at UVA, you have to graduate in four years. Um and I'm, I'm doing that. So um, it, it doesn't really make sense for me to do another year um, because eventually I'll go to um, PA school. And um, that's kind of, that's not really feasible with swimming. I don't even know if that's even an option. Um, but yeah, it, it doesn't, it didn't really make sense for me. But um, if, if the meet hadn't have happened, I, I think I would have considered it a lot more. Um, but that being said, it did happen and it went great. So that's all I can ask for. And then have you, you know, it seems like you've put some thought and consideration. Um, are, are you still going to continue swimming into this summer and, you know, whether or not this, that goes well or the way you want it to, do you think you'll consider swimming after that? Yeah, I think it, it, it all kind of depends on how you do this summer and, um, if ISL is still intact, I might consider doing that um, for another season. But yeah, in the meantime, I'll be here training in Charlottesville, um, training with my team um, for um, definitely through the summer. So I'm excited about that. Um, it'll be a little bit different, but you know, um, my good friend Cage Loof is here um, training as a pro, and um, I don't really know if I can call myself a pro because I'm not I'm not sponsored or anything like that, but. Um, I guess a college swimmer is maybe what you might call it, but yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I, I think Sarah Bacon, uh, the diver from Minnesota tweeted something about her, herself being an NCAA swimmer. <clears throat> so yeah, that's mm -hmm. seems like yeah, a good term. Good. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I mean, and, and just, you know, you won, you won the individual titles, you won the relay title, you won the team title. Was there, was there one that stood out um, and, and having, you know, had 16 to 20 hours to kind of process that now, um, what, what's coming to you um, just in terms of um, satisfaction or emotion or feelings? Yeah, I, I mean, I think um, my favorite race was the eight free relay just because um, we were so excited for that and just wanted to kick off the meet with a bang. And, um, you know, I, I had one of the, or the best split that I've ever had, um, and felt amazing. And, um, it was just really fun just to, um, have that special moment for UVA to win a, um, their first national title, um, in a relay ever and also for the ACC. So that was pretty cool. Um, and I think that kind of set the tone for the meet. Um, and, you know, thinking through my emotions, um, through the entire meet as a whole, um, I kind of, I talked to a couple of people about this, that I, I think it's a really big feat in itself just to be at the meet and just, just to be there in general. Um, especially this year, you know, in any year it's, it's an incredible thing to do, but, um, I think everyone, you know, who was there should be really proud of it, um, for overcoming the circumstances, um, through COVID and everything. It's, it's been a weird, weird year. And I think everyone had, um, a lot of things to juggle, um, through school and all that, um, mental stuff. Um, so I, I'm just really grateful that we got that opportunity. Um, and that's kind of what I've been reflecting on just gratitude for the weekend, gratitude, um, for the NCAA for making it happen and for my teammates also for, um, carrying me through that. Yeah. Well, Paige, I appreciate you taking the time to sit down and chat and, and give your insight on, uh, this historic feat from UVA and for the ACC and for yourself. 
any parting thoughts before we sign off today? Um, wash your hands, stay healthy. That's all I have to say and go who's. <laughs>